title, if you can less like, this is my experience, it's not your experience, boom, putting borders in between people, you know, or is kind of revolving your experience and making it more relatable and white Americans and Asians and rules. I think that one of the richest experiences you have, if you will, but to treat people like they are inherently dangerous. <laughs> And all of this stuff came from a place of segregation and racism. But the 17 original series dear to have their own separate culture the way in young people in college i love college shows. samantha white you could say but it breaks away I, I think in season two and we see in love with black american culture that's why it matters to me so jewish americans have their own history things like the black lives Matter. the acting i think everybody was dedicated to their characters and every now we're in a time where we can actually do more we can go beyond impose limitation person and not just an ideal or a you think of the topics that were brought up on the show love to hear from you share is important this and that okay she's very stubborn and grinding all of it percent with her approach and her mindset so whether it's and not acknowledge that that's why the black well and dandy safe space code work movie John Carlo Esposito I like primarily white people and that may be true or keeping us down but she wasn't the only one speaking variety and character telling but a good voiceover works and it works here it works here like I said find common ground and we that anyone can access and it's not just for black students what I appreciate they're Americans and the fact that we still have to use a shows different black experiences black video station I think she hosts a show called dear white people where it distracts from what's really at the heart of all of this it reflects their experience with people that are underrepresented and they will have one character represent all that my feelings about it are complicated this tv show with someone that is nothing like you in a dorm room and getting to know someone new the culturally different person all the time if you who may be breaking bad in many instances i'm not saying that it comes from nowhere been there done that live with it i know what it's like to be appreciate about this show especially in season two more so than in season one recently reviewed i love that word like you're so far removed to me someone different it might be friction at first but you don't have to see it that way and i think going into it specifically and they don't want it to be integrated so it goes back to being a dorm definitely i don't like to say african americans at this point because it's that we have here because one character like samantha aren't exposed to black hey a lot of tasty meat in this show flesh we may not have the same cultural background but as an intro to sharing a storyline and there were people in her community in her circle that didn't necessarily agree on Samantha. He makes some really good points. She made some good points about him too, right? I really encourage complicated show, complicated show. Complicated in the sense that like me, I'm very interested. Racial issues in America is a topic that I'm interested in. There is too much sex. I tried to watch that with my teenage brother and I was like, no a little more about i want to see where this goes really want to see where it goes i am team gamantha gabe and, <laughs> and it's probably to match the the voiceover <laughs> i don't know that i am so shoes recognize that a certain person did a certain action and not the whole is responsible for the solutions no more problems in my life before you go please click on the like button that's just my perspective love him so much to me he's still gus from that has been claimed their sexual uh, maturity or if that's what you're looking for all of them in a show be it native american or hispanic or a lot more of the other characters there they hold equal weight in the story code one a diminutive or uh, an adjective to distinguish what type of american you are it's it's your screen on the movie i did watch the show because i saw representation people who look who see black one is different people are people in the end you are a multi we see many perspectives in media you can have a group character mixed girl who is very much an activist at her whatever cryptic at this point but i'm intrigued Actually, i love good content whoever's from wherever it's like you're looking for trouble you're gonna find it active on the matter as a person who's very much that's why i i use that term just wanted to specify the show primarily follows the character or which is what black people have been accused of for so long and then for that there typical netflix quality delivered to you 
and artistically. Then we have a diversity. It's becoming like a Tom Hanks movie. What's that thing called? National Treasure? So much. Fundamental parties need to be like, okay, we're both human beings in the end, so maybe you and I can find... But you also have the African perspective, the diaspora, if you will. Their personalities and their mind and their place in society. They explore their bodies too. And too much sex. I must say that now. It shows that you may be all about the white people I have in college is being leads to sympathy acting upon fear only breeds more fear and hatred and just mexican the gay character that speaks for all gays the black character that speaks for all black people it's like everyone hi i'm an angel and today i'm here to review the netflix 20 national person the diversity that exists in american culture this is a good show to get a spoonful at or slogan which is also problematic in the sense that by people of color, black people, specific Americans, very different. Be informed when a new video hit. had to be the argument for why the dorm exists. Things about race, and then to accuse other people about making students, about behavior, the dorm exists. It kind of bothered me. They want to say, oh, it's about creating a safe space. They come with it with an open heart. It's fun to share your experience with someone else and learn from someone else's experience. Add people, compleasing people in what she's talking about. And that I appreciated because it made her more of a pro. I'm for integration like i said i'm for getting to know is safer hbcus and you'll enjoy the show has some great with that mindset for it at all i think if anything separating men and women almost a bit the dealing with characters with nuance with personality i think that people who judge the blackish to make the beautiful to look at so visually you are served really polished good job really around other people knows i love the way the show is produced am i a fan of everyone feels very realistic and usually that's how life works if you go she also kind of doesn't really know what she wants and she doesn't really know every character is basically the topic of a new one brought what they needed to bring some people are maybe a little more caricature of a group of black kids in this predominant <laughs> won't agree but are you really part of the solution or are you part of the problem as perspectives and how people relate to being black in predominantly white it's from i just wanted to make that clear i didn't really agree with season one having a segregated dorm i'd say i'm not too understanding other people <laughs> highlights the issues that I had with her, she addresses white students. Sharing is caring, so share this video. Subscribe to Music Game News if you haven't already. And turn on that notification bell to see things about race. I find it very hypocritical. But if you go beyond a definitely white college and there's a whole story and just relax and, and, and create a community, that's all fine. Theatrical, hard, outspoken, and has this university local race at a college in America. And it kind of follows the lives. I felt the same about and like a person you would meet in college. For those who don't know, this show takes place pictures of themselves, but generally speaking, in dorms is so much. Much. I think it fits the style that they're going for. Other white people kids do, they explore not only the pose segregation or self-inflicted segregation, it's still segregation. Maybe many people American, because I'm not talking about I'm Angel, signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. That that's what leads to understanding, which which is what the style, the colors, the outfits, title, at a certain point, both look past the societies, America specifically. Show based on the title are missing out. I understand. The title is kind of abrasive. All of these policies and age, right? we are not just one thing. I am not just a woman. I am not just black. I'm not just white. And it finds some interesting characters, intrigue, mystery. I cannot wait to see where they're going. <laughs> Samantha, I don't know about you. Just wanted to say that. What did you Integration. They're American. They're part of that history. Let's say black with a dorm or a hall, as they call it. That if you wanted to watch this with young kids, it's uh, it was imposed that people, minorities, or especially black people have to deal with that are, you know what, you're too young for this. There's no way I'm watching this with you. <laughs> so, warning if cause. I think of the movie Love, Simon, that I heard for not safe with white people. So you are saying that you are unsafe inherently with one person's action. That's why I appreciate the nuance of episode. It's so stylish. I love it. Everyone is book cards, how they have episodes. Uh, it's college. The two of things, right? Samantha and her ex, Gabe, what a name, that really kind of Americans or just 
what they call minorities, if you want to know three, because and feels very strongly about what she feels. However, I think you get further by not tricking people, but loves around the character of into a situation with an open heart. That's a better way to move forward, to isolate. It still creates that separation. And I don't want to encourage segregation, obviously. I want to encourage advocate for inclusivity. Season two, there is a moment, there is a dialogue between Ben and uh, a place where black people can be themselves and be around each other and going with this in season is what causes problems on both sides. It's people who are into it was based on the movie with the same title, Dear White People. I didn't see the oozes coolness to me. I'm more of a person who is into visual storytelling and so on and so forth. So if I were just to share my personal feelings about people because I believe but season one is really kind of about Samantha as this mix air communication is how we move things forward. I want Hey guys! Welcome! So, today I'm going to be reacting to Cookie Girl. Yeah! And, uh, let's just get right into it. Okay? Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. So there's a man staring at a screen. Okay. Yeah. And he's noticing there are, like, cookies on the table. And, and little crumbs and this is making him feel something I guess uh, and the cookies they're like they're like all crumbled up so I guess like someone ate them which I think is a really not nice thing to do to someone's cookies uh, and they're like leaving this trail and he thinks it's weird I guess he's making these faces Okay, so he's like, he's like following the cookie trail. Like it's going to lead him somewhere. Probably to like the culprit. Oh! Oh, it's me! <laughs> oh, I like... I'm just, I'm right there. I'm in the video. I was just laying there. I had... That's really fun. That's really fun. I had the cookies all along. Oh, wow. Oh, that was fun. That was really cool. Okay, well, yeah. I guess that's it. Well, then, yeah, goodbye.